The Pride Parade yesterday paused by protesters chained together, blocking off the route. And right now we are learning new details about the demonstrations and the people behind them. Police say they took 19 people into custody after warning them several times to move. But as of now, no charges have been filed. First Lord Forrest Nathan Vickers spoke to them now that they have been released. He's live from the spot of the protest downtown. Nathan. That's right. By now, all the protesters have been released from the city justice center. I want to set the scene for you a little bit uh, as to what it was like yesterday, though. There were thousands of people lined up here on the sidewalk watching as those protesters were blocking off this intersection here and keeping the parade from moving forward. We talked to a lot of people who were watching yesterday and they and the parade organizers told us they just didn't feel like that was the right way to spread their message. As the last of the tents come down. Pride is about love. Pride is about being in community. Pride is about kind of being with family. Jordan Braxton with Pride STL believes the spirit of this weekend's event still rang strong, despite the 90 minute interruption of Sunday's parade by Palestinian supporters blocking the route, chained together in a protest of Boeing's sponsorship of the event. I understand that they weren't the voices to be heard, but there's options and ways that we can work together and communicate. She says she had talked with the group in advance about different ways to demonstrate, even offering to let them walk in the parade. I offered them to march in front of the parade all the way the entire parade route, but that option was not chosen. We've been working to get Boeing out of pride. We've been working to get these other corporate sponsors that are pillaging the planet out of this celebration of queer liberation. But talking with reporters after their release from the City Justice Center, demonstrators said they felt their demands were not taken seriously. When those uh, good faith conversations go unheard um, and when they continue to side with corporations over the people of St. Louis, um, we feel the need to show up and take direct action. Police say of the 19 they took into custody, 15 of them were from the St. Louis area. The others came from Columbia, Missouri, Springfield, Illinois, and Indiana. Some had also been involved in protests at Wash U in the spring. We are all fighting for the same liberation, so no one's kind of an outside agitator when we're all struggling for the same liberation. Braxton says Boeing's employees in the parade represented the company's LGBTQ resource team. We're not going to ask people in our own community not to be in the parade. In the end, she says it was important to move forward. This little disturbance, it, it didn't take away from the beauty um, of celebrating who we are and diversity and and wonderfulness of our St. Louis LGBTQI community. We also reached out to Boeing. They did not respond to our request for comment about this. The protesters also hinted that they might continue demonstrations later this week over the 4th of July, but they didn't specify or go into any detail about what those demonstrations might look like later in the week. Reporting live, Nathan Vickers, First Alert 4. Nathan, thank you. Well, it